So on that um one video I dropped on the how to the tutorial on how to make the um double tundra class, you guys are asking for my settings and I thought of just giving you guys a whole video on my settings and why I use them and Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to you guys after this game. RC cars are fucking annoying. Not bad, 43 and 12. What's up, guys? Um, And that one video I made the Double Tundra class and taught you guys how to make it, Um, people were asking for a setting, my settings, and I thought of just making this video. And so, um, I have a reason why I run my settings how I do. I run a 12 sensitivity with 11.5. I like it so that, because the 12 is move side to side. This one you move up and down, if you guys didn't know that, but I like this a little, just a tad bit slower. Um, I run a 1-1. One, one. Uh, I run tactical, so I can slide with my the right analog. You just push down on it, and you can slide with it. Um, I play default, all these, standard curve type. I haven't tried out any. I don't think I will. I keep my controller vibration off. I do not like controller vibration. It just throws you off when you're sniping and stuff target aim assist enabled obviously now this is a big one right here um target aim assist mode the usually it's on standard i mean standard isn't terrible but um i like to run it on uh uh precision because it like i don't know i've seen it from other youtubers and stuff and they say it's good and tried it out and I haven't taken it off since because yeah I like it um ADS aim assist I obviously put that on um yeah pretty basic it's like default and another key one right here so it usually is on 10 right the yeah shit so this is my left stick min input threshold. It's usually on 10. I like it on 5 because like I feel like I can move smoother. Like it just feels a lot better and I don't, and I don't have stick drift in or that. So if you have stick drift on one of your sticks, run a higher one. Run it at like a 10 because that's like the default. But if you don't have stick drift, run that at a 5. And it goes for this one too, the right stick. Same thing. But I run that at 5.99, 5.99, and is that everything for this? Oh yeah, and then I run auto sprint, so I don't have to push down on my stick and all that. So I just push up, and it's good. Um, and then my field of view, I run a 1.15. I run a 1.15. Yeah, and my ADS field of view, that's supposed to be independent. I don't know why that was unaffected. Um, yeah, and make sure you guys have motion blur off. Motion blur is, like, not good. Because, like, you want to you wanna see everything when you're turning. You don't want it to blur. You know what I mean? You don't want it to blur when you're turning, when you're spinning around and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's 
pretty much it. That's all my settings. And if I was too fast, you guys can just go back and um, uh, s slow it down or pause it or whatever. But yeah, and I feel like these are the best settings for sniping. But all right, another thing about this um, precision target aim assist mode, run standard if you're gonna run um, like SMGs or ARs or any other gun besides like a, a, a gun that has a scope. Because I feel like precision is only for like sniping, basically. It just, uh, if you look at it, a strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when aiming closer to targets. Best for accurate players. So, like, that's for like sniping. Like, when you want to hit that, like, that you're off just by a little bit, it'll hit. But, um, that's all my settings. So, there you guys go. I'm out. Peace. Get fucking.